Okay, today we're gonna look at my version of an X-Jet pail system. Uh, I do some pressure washing on the side um, after I retired, so I uh, I bought an X-Jet to use. And so far it seems to work pretty well uh, to put bleach down or SH, but uh, I just batch mix everything. But the pail systems I was interested in and they're $50, I think. And I'm notoriously cheap, even though I bought an X-Jet. But uh, I thought I could make my own. So I bought an aqua container at Walmart. And it's a seven gallon instead of a five gallon like the X-Jet. And I thought I could make my own by putting, putting a fitting in here, running a pipe down, and putting a 90 here, just like the X-Jet. I thought, man, this will only take me just a few minutes. And then I figured out that Aqua Container uses a proprietary thread gauge, so no aftermarket pieces would fit. And I could probably melt something in there if I really wanted. But the more I thought about it, I came up with this. I just took the uh, water spigot out, ran my hose through, put a... Uh, stainless steel hose clamp on there and put the filter on the end. I stick that down on the bottom, run this here, screw that down, it works. I don't have to worry about venting it this way. You can, but this isn't a tight fit at all. So you're gonna get your venting there and then what else I did was the hose that comes with the X-Jet is, I think, 15 feet. So it doesn't give you a whole lot to work with. You're dragging that thing around, which is fine. But if you're on a big house or you're trying to be quick, it's a pain. So I disconnected the end that doesn't go to, okay, I kept this end on. I disconnected here. I went to my local Ace Hardware and I bought 50 feet of 3 8 hose that is just almost what X-Jet puts on there. So I've got 50 feet of hose so I can stretch out, put it in the middle of a house and I can get basically 100 feet either direction or pretty close to. So that works out pretty well. Um, the only problem with the X-Jet though is if you're going to climb a ladder, this can't be way above the pail system. You can go lengthwise, but you can't go vertical according to X-Jet. That's what they told me because I considered putting one of these on a extension, a 24 foot <clears throat> extension. I had a customer that has a huge three-story house with a walkout basement and I was having trouble getting to the top so I was going to put one of those extensions put that on the end and be able to get up there I contacted XJet and they told me it wouldn't work I've not tried it so I just took their word for it and then also what I did was this is the bucket here I'm not sure if you can see that in the video seven gallons like I said, on Walmart, I think it was $15. Another thing with the X-Jet is if you pull on your hose too hard, that container or your bucket, they want to roll over. So what I did, I had some scrap lumber. You could use a two by four or two by three, one by, or two by twos, whatever you want to use, honestly. And maybe make, you could make them longer than what I did. It doesn't really matter, but on the bottom of a retired milk crate from the inside I ran screws made this little thing here so it goes any direction but it's basically it's a kickstand on all four corners and when I pull too hard on my uh, bucket it doesn't fall over as easy it can still fall over if you tug on it too hard of course but it makes it much harder. 
And then also once you get, as you saw, when I, before I took this all out of here, of course the bucket goes in here, but then you can wrap that all around the whole thing. It's kind of a mess now that I took it off, but, and then it all carries together. It's easy to transport everything. Um, I just have it on a short, a short sprayer, but that is my X-Jet setup. So if you got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thanks for watching.